Hey guys, what we have to look at in this particular video is an MMDVM board from our friends at RSync. RSync sent this to me free of charge to do a review on the channel. So this board is very small and does something very interesting for a device of its size. Let's take a look at it. Inside the box, there's almost nothing for instructions. The instructions are on their website and on the Amazon product page for this device. So this is an MMDVM HSUSB hat board is what they're calling it. And MMDVM stands for multi-mode digital voice modem. But you'll notice that this does not have all the chips that you would normally see on a Pi hat. So when I first received this product, I was a little confused what it was, and then it became clear and it's very clever. As you know, Raspberry Pi devices are in very short supply right now because of COVID and supply chain issues and whatever reason. So it's very hard to get those small computers. It's kind of hard to build a hotspot without a Raspberry Pi. So this device is a bridge that lets you use it in lieu of your Raspberry Pi to build a hotspot. Let me explain. So first of all, let's talk about the board. The board has a reset button on the end. It has an update switch to reflash the firmware on this board. And then it has a micro USB power connector over here. Obviously you can see the two GPIO pins. These will made up with a true MMDVM modem board, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the chip on here, this is a UART serial chip. And I don't know exactly what this chip is. I couldn't quite read the silk screen on it. But this is a CH340. And to use this, you will have to download the CH340 drivers. If you search on Google for CH340X drivers, you'll find a website with those on them. And they're publicly available drivers. And installation was a snap. And again, I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. So drivers for what? Well, here we go. Drivers for Windows. Um, it potentially will work also on with an Android device and with um, Mac OS and Linux. I have not tested it on any of those. The website says it will work with those devices. Now, to make this work, what we have to do is we have to add something to it. This is the middleware piece. What this will do is connect to your PC and connect to this device, which is a straight up MMDVM board like you'd find in any Raspberry Pi based hotspot. This is the zero size. This would work on a full size Pi 2, 3, 4, whatever. Um, but this board is what actually does the transcoding. DMR, transcoding is the wrong word. It's what actually does the connection between analog voice and digital modes. So this actually mates up here to our hotspot board, just like that. And once that is done, this device is plugged in with a USB cable to your PC, and then you can run the software Blue DV, which just Google for that. And again, I'll put a link to it below. Um, it's free software written by PA7L1M, L-I-M, PA7L-I-M, I believe is the gentleman's call sign. And that lets you drive this whole thing like it is a hotspot. That lets you, from your computer, from software, um, use this with DMR, D-Star, and Fusion. Now, there's other softwares that this will work with. Um, the only one I know of off the top of my head is the Blue DV, but I didn't spend a lot of time Googling other ones. I already knew about Blue DV, and that's the one I'm familiar with. So anything that will connect and talk serially to your computer software wise should work with this as far as hotspot functionality is concerned. This board is about, I don't remember what the price is. I'll put it right here in the description below. I want to say about $30 maybe, and then um, a hotspot board, not a Pi Star, a Pi, not a Raspberry Pi, but a hotspot board is about another $60. 
so you could get this together for a little less than a hundred dollars um, and again if those numbers are wrong i'll update them here in the description below but that's what this is and that's how it works it's a fairly simple board as you saw there's not there's not a lot of um, traces on the board there's not much to the board it's simply a usb serial interface bound to gpio so that we can hook it to a board to do the digital voice magic okay so here's the um, board that we were just looking at and this is uh, the page on amazon and you can see this sells for forty dollars and they actually have an eight dollar coupon right now i don't know how long that will be going on but um thirty nine dollars with eight dollars off thirty one bucks you can't buy a raspberry pi for that so that's a great great price and this says this is compatible with linux android windows uh etc and it supports i can tell you it supports all the functions that the software will support this is really um a middleware piece of hardware this powers the actual hotspot board and interfaces you to the computer and that's how you'd have to use this so if we go look at other rsync products on amazon the board that we're looking at today would actually go with a hotspot board so this kind of thing right here this is a hotspot board with no led which is similar to the one i showed you this does p25 and nxdn and d star and dmr and fusion etc etc and this would mate to our hat board um, you could even get fancier and here's duplex boards these would also mate to this hat board and again the the hat board provides the interface and power to this actual board here so you can use it with your computer with the um, for example with the blue dv software okay that concludes our video i'd like to thank rsync for sending this for review on the channel this fills a unique niche in my ham shack and will work in yours as well um, this is actually cheaper than buying a raspberry pi so pretty cool guys i hope you able were able to get something out of the video if you would give me a thumbs up Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and ring that bell so you get notified whenever I post any new content. 73, y'all.